Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a DIY video and get ready with me tutorial for this Mad Hatter Alice in Wonderland themed costume idea. So I'm going to show you how I put together this costume as well as the makeup and the hair. So a complete get ready with me look for this Mad Hatter inspired tutorial. So it's super super fun to do, it's fairly easy, inexpensive and I'm just so excited to show you guys how to create it. So if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and I really hope you enjoy it. Here is everything that you will need to make the costume. I will link everything in the description box below to make it a little bit easier to make your purchases. But yeah, it's super easy, you don't require a lot of things. Start by cutting your satin about 8 inches wide and about a metre long. We're going to pleat this and put it onto the hat with a glue gun. It's really really simple to do, it just requires a little bit of folding and gluing. Wrap this around the hat and then on the other side make sure there's a little fold and just glue it down at the back. Tear a bit of paper about 10 centimetres by 5 centimetres. This is going to be the little bit of card that says 10-6 for the hat. Simply glue that on with a glue gun and then add some little buttons as well. Then to make a bow for the back you want about 4 inches width of fabric, about a metre long. Tie that into a bow and open out the little bow edges. Then simply use your trusty glue gun and glue it onto the back. Now to make your neck scarf, it's the same process, it's about 5 to 6 inches wide, but you'll need two lengths of this to make it long enough to go around your neck. And then simply just glue the fabric together to make a join, and glue in some simple pleats as well, and that will just sit nicely on the back of your neck for the scarf to go on. Now the Mad Hatter wears cotton reels on his jacket, so to do this I've got some string that I've made a loop and then you just need to loop each edge of the string through it as you'll see in the video. It's a little bit fiddly and it does take some time but it is super worth it and it looks amazing when it's finished. Once you feel you've got enough cotton reels, tie it up with a knot at the end and then make a loop. Now use a big safety pin and lots of random ribbons, I just collect lots of things in my craft box and I just simply tie them onto the safety pin and then I pin this onto the jacket pocket. I then hand stitch the cotton reel loop on the top of the shoulder just under the collar and then the other part goes on the button and just loops around it. And that's the jacket and the hat complete. Now moving on to the makeup look.
we're all a bit mad here. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed how I created this Mad Hatter inspired costume idea. So obviously it's super simple, it's just a case of getting your hands on all of the items which are in the description box below. I've listed where I've picked up things, um, the prices of things and things like that. So hopefully it helps you on your way to creating a similar costume. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Make sure to hit the little notification bell as well to get up dates of my future videos so now there's only one thing left to do it's time for tea better go get the kettle on thanks for watching bye